Hello and welcome to a new Godot tutorial. This is the second video for our web sockets and today I would like to show you the example how to set up an easy web socket server so we can connect our web socket client which we wrote in the last video. If you haven't seen it yet make sure to check it out. I will link it. You will find the link over here or maybe there. I'm not sure where YouTube puts it, but you will find it. And it's the first video I recommend to watch first and afterwards come back to this video to see our WebSocket server example. I will write it in Node.js because it's uh, very simple to set up there. And as I said before, my previous project was written with a Node.js backend server and I would like to connect it with the WebSocket client. So I would like to show you that with my real world example so you could maybe learn the most out of it. Another thing I want to mention before we start, make sure to check out my Discord server. You'll find the link below in the description and there you can ask me for help or chat about your topics you're working on and I try to build up a community where we can help each other with a lot of devs in there. And also of course you will be informed there if there are news about my games or new videos out there. But now let us go on to the web server example. Let us start with the socket server. I just created a new example project in my favorite editor right here. And I just wrote these uh, two lines of code already. So in Node.js we have the web socket, which is uh, called VS right here. And we just need to require it right here and then we can work with it. So what we do next is we set up the server with our variable server and we set the server on the port 3000. That's already it for setting up the server. And now we need some functions for the connection and for the data which is sent. So the next thing we need is the server on connection. This one is called when a client is connected to our server and we just write a closure right here for the connection and in the connection we have the server on message there we get a message and we have the server on close this is when the client gets closed and there we have a code and a reason if you want to know more about the WebSocket implementation in Node.js, just Google for it. And, and there you see all the events and methods you can use. For now, I will stick with these two. So in the message, we want to have our data. Since I sent JSON data, I want to parse the JSON in our message. And for now, I will only lock the data to our console and also on the close connection we just lock the code and the reason for it so i forgot to wrote a new web service socket here because we of course want to instantiate a new instance of the server and therefore we of course have to set it to new and of course we had to install the node module vs i did not mention that of course we needed to use it but now we can go in our console and I can just start the server with node index.js now the server is already running let us see if we get our client connected and we can receive actually some data for that we just want to open our godot client we have written in the last video here is our WebSocket client we wrote in the last video. We have the local host connection with WebSocket on the port 3000. We just check it over there. This one, yeah, we set the port to 3000, so that's actually correct. So we can start it. And we have just to look what we do actually. We just connect to the client and we set the process. So before we can actually test the uh, server, we need to send some data to the server so we can actually see if the connection is working at all. So what I like to do is server send json stringify test test. So what this does is we just have the server set up and uh, if we receive a connection on the server we just send 
the package to the client. So now we can hopefully start the client. And as you can see in our output, we already received the data test test. So this was the data we sent it from our server and therefore we are connected to the server and we can transfer some data. This was very simple and now we have already a connection established and we can talk to each other. So the go.client can now talk with the Node.js server. To complete this tutorial I just want to send some data from the client to the server. So let us modify the code a little bit of the client. Now how do we do that? Um, we just received our data so we know we get our data on, on the connection to the server. What we do now is we just sending some packet back and we already have here the test. I will name it test go dot. So we know that the client have sent this data. So everything I do now is just on data receiving. I just send an own package from the client and it's the test go dot test go dot which will go to the server. So therefore I will check the server again. On the server we have here already the message one and it will also receive the data and will log the data to our console. So let us start the server again. It is started and now we can start our client again. And when we start it, we have already received the data and we can now check the server and the server also received the data from our client. So we have successfully established our connection and we can now go on to write some more complex logic and talk with the client server. I would like to end this uh, video series of WebSockets with another video I will prepare for you within the next week where I show some more complex stuff ongoing but all of that will relying on this simple setup. This is just the groundwork you need to speak to with the client to the server and now you can go on and write more complex stuff and transfer your own data however you would like to do it. I will show you in the next video how I like to transfer my data and how I like to call methods on the client side and the server side and we will again modify our installation quite a bit. So the last thing I would like to show you in this tutorial today is you can of course write your WebSocket server also in Godot. I would not recommend that because if you would like to have a Godot server and a Godot client, it is better to use another technology instead of WebSockets because the WebSocket technology is fine if you have a server in written in some other language or on a web server or hosted on some web server logic. If you want just to write in client server with uh, Godot, you can check out another video from me which is called create a lobby headless server in Godot, which is much better reliable, more reliable and much faster if you have the client and server on Godot side. But for the completion of the WebSocket server, I would like to show you that you also can of course write a WebSocket server in Godot and connect it with any client you would like to do in WebSocket. So you could, for imagine, you could have a Unity client and a Godot server if you would like to. I don't know if this makes any sense at all, but there is the possibility with WebSockets and that is quite cool, I think, because you can just combine different technologies and languages. So let us start with the simple WebSocket server example. What we need is a port. Also, as we have done it in Node.js, I always take the 3000 one. We have a server variable and just use the WebSocket server now. So make sure you write the server and not the client like in the last example. And then we have our server already instantiated. What we are now doing is just we are connecting some signals. It's the same setup most likely as we have done it in, in the first video with the client. The server works in a very, very similar way as the client worked, just with the opposite <laughs> signals. So we have a, a connected version, we have a disconnected version, we have client close request 
and of course we handle this also by ourselves with the close request. You can just use this, uh, this example is just used from the Godot tutorial site, so you can just Google for it and there is the code example also shown up, so this one is no magic at all and it's just uh, pretty simple. It's actually most likely the same as the client is working. There is not much magic ongoing. So now we have our ready function, which is uh, quite short. We just uh, connect our signals. We need to communicate and we just set the server. It should listen on the defined port. Now we have the uh, have to define the functions we already set up in the in the signals. We have the connected, which takes the ID and the protocol as uh, as arguments. Next we have the close request which has the code reason and ID. We, for the moment we just want to lock them to the console so we can just see if everything is working and afterwards we can do some more magic there. As we already did on the client side we also need here the process where the server is polling our data. And here the magic is happening on the onData function. We also want to parse them as JSON. Here is the difference now. We just of course use the server instead of the client. And we also have an ID of the client which is given on the onData function. We don't just use the one as the client did. Also when we send a package to the client we have the server and we send it to the ID which is given. So just to make sure we can read out that this server data was sent, I just add the server right here. And that's everything which is needed for, for the WebSocket server. To have the same behavior as we had in the Node.js, I just put the send method in the connected. So what we are doing now is if the client is connecting to our server, we just send a data to this to the client back the client is receiving it and send it back to our server so we can check if if everything is working like it should so this is how you would wrote the websocket server as i said i wouldn't recommend to use it with the go.websocket server and client because it doesn't make sense at all to use the websocket protocol because you could use just because, it, because if you have the server and the client in Godot, you can use another method I already described in another video. So I hope you liked it for today and you're looking forward as I am for the next video where I show some more complex stuff ongoing and how it fits and work all together. That's it for now. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you liked the video or would like to know something more. As I said, make sure to check out my Discord server, there you get informations about new videos on YouTube, news or for my games and you can also have a chat with me or some other devs which are also there. I hope to see you on my next video and wish you a very successful week. Bye!